in the heart of the Swedish wilderness, nestled 120 miles north of the Arctic Circle, lies the Isrange Space Center. This unassuming facility, owned by the Sweden Space Corporation, has quietly been making strides in scientific research since its establishment in 1966. While other countries vie for the title of the first European base to launch a satellite into orbit, the Swedes have been diligently working towards their goal of becoming the frontrunner in this new space race. A Legacy of Scientific Research The Isrange Space Center, previously owned by the European Space and Research Organization and now under the purview of the SSC, has a rich history in atmospheric, ionospheric, and microgravity research. While it may not boast the grandeur of Kennedy Space Center, its contributions to international scientific endeavors cannot be understated. From launching sounding rockets into suborbit to deploying large balloons into the stratosphere, this range has played a crucial role in collecting and processing valuable data from above. Emerging Competition in Europe Sweden is not alone in its pursuit of becoming Europe's first base outside of Russia for satellite launches. The Andoya Space Center in Norway and the UK's Saxavord rocket base in UNST, Shetland, are among the frontrunners in this fiercely competitive race. Meanwhile, other contenders in Iceland, Portugal's Azores, and the Canary Islands are not far behind. The urgency to establish a European launching capability was further heightened by the Ukraine conflict, which highlighted the continent's heavy dependence on Russia and the Baikonur launch base in Kazakhstan. The growing need for launching capabilities As the number of satellite launches continues to rise globally, Europe has been grappling with the lack of capacity to launch its own satellites. In 2022 alone, there were an estimated 6,905 active satellites orbiting Earth, a significant increase from the previous year. With telecommunications, internet infrastructure, Earth observation capabilities, and national security demands driving the need for more satellites, approximately 18,500 small satellites are expected to be launched between 2022 and 2031. The reliance on Russia and the European spaceport in French Guiana is no longer sufficient to meet these growing demands. This range unique advantage. Its range strategic location provides it with a distinct advantage over other potential launched sites. The vast landing zone spanning 5, 200 square kilometers, nestled between Norway and Finland, is sparsely inhabited, making it an ideal area for rocket remnants to safely descend. To ensure minimal disruption to the indigenous Sami reindeer herders, who roam the region, bunkers have been provided to protect them during launches. Overcoming technological challenges. Traditionally, launching a satellite from its range was deemed unfeasible due to the need for the rocket to pass over Norway for a significant duration, posing potential risks. However, advancements in technology have mitigated these concerns. With the introduction of new rocket technology, the risk associated with flying over Norwegian airspace has been significantly reduced. Rockets can now ascend to over 100 kilometers before veering away from the region, resulting in a lower risk profile than an airplane crashing at an airport. Learning from setbacks The high-stakes nature of the space race is evident in the setbacks faced by competitors. In Cornwall, the UK's previous frontrunner, Richard Branson's Virgin Orbit mission, failed to reach the required altitude, leading to the demise of the venture. The use of rockets under an airplane proved to be inadequate for achieving the necessary speed and power to reach orbit. This range, however, has learned from these setbacks and is pursuing a different approach that aligns with the unique capabilities of their base. The Path to Success The Isrange Space Center anticipates its maiden launch by spring, although no specific date has been set. The center is in the process of finalizing a contract with a Swedish provider to procure the appropriate rocket for the launch. Once the rockets are secured, clients will be responsible for providing the satellites. Commonly referred to as the payload, this range's vision extends beyond being the first to launch a satellite. Their aim is to establish capacity for rapid launching by 2030. This ambitious goal would allow satellites to be thrust into orbit within a fortnight of notification, paving the way for increased speed and cost-effectiveness. To sum up, 
While the Esrange Space Center may appear unassuming, its significance in the European space race cannot be overlooked. Sweden's dedication to becoming the first European base outside of Russia to launch a satellite into orbit is unwavering. The competition is fierce, but the Swedes remain focused on their ultimate goal of success. As the world becomes increasingly reliant on satellite technology, this range's contributions to scientific research and space exploration will undoubtedly shape the future of space travel and our understanding of the universe. Click here to watch. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos.